wizard. Welcome to my video. Welcome, 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 welcome. So, oh, I'm sorry. That was not nice. But anyway, if you're new here, my name is Jackie, aka Fabulous Jet. And if you're my favorite fashionista, welcome. Love you. Mm -mm -mm. Love you, love you, love you. So, guys, I haven't done anything the whole of this week because I've been so busy. My son was on spring break and we had to have family time we had to do some things so it's thursday i'm a, a little late better late than never so before i have a whole pile of stuff i want to show you guys hopefully it won't take so long i keep saying i was going to do a styling video this week but i can't because your girl is super tired super 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 tired and um yeah if you're new into this if you're new on this channel and you want to know what we're all about, we're all about looking fabulous, but not breaking the bank. Even though today, I don't think I'm giving it my best, but it's all good. I still think I'm fly. I still think I'm fabulous. <laughs> Scarf and all, glasses and all, men's button down shirt. Yeah, that's what we're doing today. Casual chic, no lashes. That's why these glasses are on my eyes. So, but anywho, being that I've been talking and talking and talking, let's. I want to share some beautiful spring items that I picked out while I was out there. You know, even when we're having family time, I'm still trying to debo <laughs> the the situation and say, "Hey, can we go to this thrift store? Hey, can we go to the thrift store?" And they're looking at me like, "Uh, no, that's not what we're about." But I still get my way. So I found, I went to Goodwill. This, this is going to be a combination of stores that I bopped into and bopped out and pick something here or there. So it's not just one store. It's a couple of stores. So this beautiful houndstooth yellow jacket for spring is by Donna Ray, New York. Beautiful. I picked this up at Goodwill. And um, the buttons are covered, which is really good. And this is a size 10. And I picked it up for $12.99. Yeah. This one is long. So let's see if I can try this on. Don't mean to be rude, but it is what it is. So, yeah, I want to try this on so you guys can see it is so hot today in my neck of the woods guys it's like almost 80 degrees i have my air conditioner on and it's like i know spring is here but is it summer should we be using our ac but yeah i'm hot my family's hot so but anywho so this is so cute let me stand up so we get to see it Beautiful house tooth yellow, good for spring. I know it's gonna get cooler again, so I'm not falling for this hot weather. I'm not falling for that trap. So nice for spring, beautiful. Twelve ninety nine. The next one too is the same jacket by Donna Ray, but I got this in the light blue. This is not as long as the yellow one another house tooth you guys know i love me some house tooth this is the light blue color for spring donna ray new york i don't know how much they retail for but these are still brand new very brand new size 10 100 percent cotton so you know it's definitely a spring jacket so this one is shorter, so we're gonna try that. Let's take away the yellow one. Yellow, bye-bye. 
Let's try the light blue. Don't mind me, guys. I'm just in my house gear. Did not feel like doing the most today because I'm just that tired. Okay, this one is shorter. This would look good with some beautiful skirt or maybe some full leg white pants. Yeah, it would look good with some dressy white pants. I have some DKNY. Oh, is it Donna Karen, New York? White full pants. I can wear it with this. Or even a banana. I think I have a Banana Republic one too. So this too was $12.99. Green tag. No sale on this. Oh no. I got this on a veterans veterans um discount. So that was 15% off of $12.99. So yeah. I'm gonna do the jacket. I might as well just stand up and do it because I'm not gonna keep putting my shirt on and blah 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 blah. So sorry guys. Don't mind me. The next one is this beautiful John Meyer for for Norwick. Beautiful lime green. Gorgeous. Look at the buttons, guys. Gorgeous. Size 10. The buttons are so pretty. We have silver and green. Spring colors. This is what we're wearing for the spring, guys. Yeah. So I could not resist. <laughs> so I'm going on. This is from Goodwill, too. I'm going into Goodwill. This one was 50% off. It was red tag. So. I told my husband, he goes like, we're not here to shop. I'm like, well, let me just look. And then I come out with so much, so many bags. So this one was $5. Because it was $9.99. Red tag was $50 off. So beautiful. Do we see this? Gorgeous. Yeah, $5 for this. And then it has this little stud here. Another store. This is like a crepe, light crepe fabric. Yeah, these are the um, colors for the spring, guys. Do we see this beautiful gorgeousness? All right, so that's that. Don't mind me as I have my young LA pants, which is gear for men, but. Yes, this is, this was, um, how much did I get this for, I said? 50% off. Beautiful, kind of like lime green, gorgeous, gorgeous for spring. Straight out of Goodwill. I love the pockets that they have studs on it, and it's very, very lightweight. And this is size 10, nice spring jacket. All right. The next one is another beautiful jacket that's on trend. The color is on trend actually, but this is kind of, I think, vintage or older. Casper for ASL. Beautiful green jacket. Look at the buttons. Gorgeous, heavy buttons. You guys know if you go to Zara, you'll pay an arm and a leg for this. I got this to a Goodwill for $12.99 with my 15% um, off. So it has a little scoop neck, gorgeous green. Casper. Sometimes I like Casper stuff and sometimes I don't. It just depends on how it's made. But I'm beginning to be liking Casper because I think most of these new jackets that this... Um, stores i'm making i get towards casper like this look like a zara like if you go to zara you probably play 119 but we pay 12.99 but i even think this is way better look at the buttons on this gorgeous 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 yeah so guys like i said this was a quick run didn't plan on it but <laughs> Shoo. What you talking about, Willis? We out here. If I see a good wheel, I'm going to go in. 
So the next one is um, Carl Leslie Tweed, beautiful, green, gorgeous with the buttons. Do we see this? Giving it the Chanel vibe. All the buttons are intact. And these two was from the same Goodwill. Look at the buttons right there. I'm so loving this jacket, y'all already know. Another size 10. This is 65% wool, 35% silk, and the lining is acetate. And this too was $12.99. This screams Chanel. I mean, if you know your Chanel jackets, you know. When you see something like that, you'll be like, oh God, I'm not paying $5,000. I'm only paying $12.99. Yeah, so. I was trying to see what this um, Casper one was made of. Okay, this Casper green one was 100% wool. So, we can still wear it. It's really light wool. Maybe not in the summer. Or you can still wear it in the summer, but in an air conditioner spot. So, this other one is the Car Leslie. Let me try this on. Oh. Do we see? Look at the bottom of this car, Leslie. That's why I say, if you know this is Chanel, it's all lined with beautiful chain. And that's how Chanel makes its blazers. Because the tweed is so heavy, they kind of put that um, beautiful chain underneath so it can stay in, in place. Do we see this? Oh, I'm so keeping this one love it I have my chanel vintage green bag is the same color as this jacket so oh my god i love it 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 let me put some shoes on maybe i can step back a little bit so you will get to see in the garage boutique guys you guys know this is why i keep my thrifted merchandise especially clothing i don't shove that upstairs i mean except it's like brand new with tags uh, cool so yeah this one too was 12.99 they were all 12.99 from the same goodwill and that was amazeball the next one was from super thrift and this is tweed beautiful albert nippon if you're of a certain age you know about this designer albert nippon usually makes evening items like you can have an albert nippon suit you know if you're going to like an evening gala i remember i used to go to the when i lived in the east coast i used to go to the black caucus party you can really like wear this with a beautiful full black pants looking elegant at the hilton or wherever they were hosting it or you were going to the um the um some kind of ball you know this comes you can wear evening dress and just put this jacket on and this jacket is was 3.99 from super thrift and i paid i think i got 25 off yes see that so beautiful i'll bet nippon and this too was a size 10. it's like the size 10 were all over the thrifts today goodwill super thrift everybody had a size 10. so that was that let me try this nippon yes beautiful this is not i won't call this a spring jacket but this is one of those jacket that you can just keep in your closet for whenever if you get invited you're wearing a nice little evening dress you can just put this jacket over it it doesn't have to be fall it doesn't have to be spring it's a beautiful tweed lightweight got the little press buttons if you don't have big boobs like girlfriend over here, you can close this easily. But because the girls are a little big, we ain't gonna be doing that. <laughs> so 
So yeah, excuse me guys if I'm, I don't have a bra, so I hope I'm not flashing anybody. It's too hot for a bra, way too hot. All right, so that's it for the blazers. Let me put my eyes out, shirt, main shirt that I thrifted, but now, I had to bring out some pink. I'm like, it's spring. Pink gotta come to play. All right, so next dress, something else I found. This is beautiful. Mirror of Venice from, okay, where did this come from? <coughs> oh, this came from American Way. Yes. For $9.99, beautiful red dress with pockets, gorgeous. And then it has this little twist that look like a bow in the back. Oh my God, this dress is so cute. I'll have to try it on. This was $9.99, 50% off. So I got it for $5, all cotton. I had tried it on already, so it fits me, but I need to style it. And it's still new with tags, never been used. And uh, so just the retail price for this dress is $228. Do we see it right there? $228. Then it got marked down for $119. Then it got marked down for $59.99. And then I guess, and this is from Anthropology. I guess anthropology says, you know what, let's just donate this stuff. And it's Mirror of Venice from Anthropology, size 10. I told you I was picking up all the size 10 in different stores. I don't know why, but that's just what happened. Then another one, NY Collectible. Where did I get this one from? Still new with tags. In my collectible. Can't find the tag, so hold on guys. What did I do with the tag of this dress? Where did I find this dress? I think this too was from American Way, if I'm not mistaken. NY Collectible still has the tags on it. Hold on. I know it's not super thrift or hope of the valley because they are uh, their tag is always put on the outside. But American way, they try to put their tags on the inside. This beautiful pink dress. NY collectible. Gorgeous. More like a shift dress. Crew neck. Button in the back. And um, just you can wear some nice mules with that. NY collectibles. I think this too was like $3.99. I remember picking this up and I was like, oh, $3.99. I'm getting this. So good for spring. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. You know, I have to say gorgeous three times. That's how I convinced myself. <laughs> All right. So I think that's it for clothing. Let me move right along. So anybody, I know some people want me like, oh, you need to try those and style it. I will. I've just, like I say, spring break, and I had to have family time. So I had to wait a little bit. Oh, and then I got this little vest that I was wearing today, but I took it off. It has no name, but it's like a vintage vest. It was $3.99 from American Way. Look at the buttons. Nice square pocket. Nice crepey light blue it goes with my scarf and the pink i had it on and then i got really hot and i was like yeah i'm taking it off but that was another bye all right so let's move on to the shoes found this beautiful escada made in italy loafers gorgeous it says it has the escada but it says ee -E in the front you know guys you know i love me some escada hand hand sewn moccasin oh these are moccasins these are not loafers hand sewn moccasins made in italy 
gorgeous and scatter I love it I am going to rock this run around town it was $14.99 green tag there was no sale on that so I just picked this up yesterday and another good goodwill that I haven't been to for a minute and I was like hey shoes so the next pair of shoes I found is this ballerina flats from American Way by Sam Eldman and this came out of Nostrum Schnostrum I still have the Nostrum tag on it I'm always going to say Nostrum Schnostrum because that's just the way I refer to them so sure and it has like beautiful glitter kind of whatever should I would say some kind of stretchy fabric metallic then the front is soft and i got this at american way for 6.99 and the last it came out of nostrum's rack it came out of nostrum's nostrum's rack it didn't come out of nostrum's maybe it did at one point and then they sent it there so beautiful fits me to the t my size which is you know as much as I don't like flats, but these days when I go thrifting, I've been spoiled with that chunky boots thing we wore in the in the, um, in the fall. So now I'm looking for flats and stuff when I'm running errands. Do we see how beautiful this is? Almost look like the Chanel. And then it has the Sam Eldman little logo thing hanging in the front. Very nice and soft. So yeah, $6.99 for that. The next shoe I got is another Sam Eldman. And this is a size 10. For those of you who were like, oh my God, you got to get a size 10. I found a 10. If you love heels, Sam Eldman, brand new, never been worn. You see that? Gorgeous. Michelle Vista, you love heels, girl. You can rock this. So. On Saturday, I'm going to show you. Let me know if you're interested. This is Sam Eldman. Never been used. It has a Marshall tag on it. But I think I only got it for $8.99. So it was $9. So that was a good buy. Another pair of shoes I found is this beautiful Jeffrey by Jeffrey Campbell. Sherry Top Snyder is the name of this shoe. It's a size 10. And if you guys know about Jeffrey shoes, they are really expensive. You can get it at Jeffrey store in New York, or you can get it at, at uh, Nordstrom's. I know they used to have it at Barney's, but Barney's is no longer. So yeah, I got this at, um, what did I get this? I think I got this at Hope of the Valley, yes. No, no, Goodwill. Ooh, I got this at Goodwill for twelve dollars, eleven ninety nine, size ten. Just need a little cleaning, but it's still in perfect condition. You know, Jeffrey sells these shoes for three hundred dollars, so that was a good buy. Size ten for my ten girls. Yes. Told you guys I was gonna get you some size ten shoes. I think I have a few more shoes, but I don't know what I did with them. And then I found this little loafers as I was going to pay for my stuff. It was just there. I can't tell who it is, but I know it's made in Italy. It's a size 39. Whatever it is, it's kind of washed out all the way here. Or they took the time to scratch it out. So we don't get to see it. I hate when people do that. And it's a size 9. And this little loafer is so cute. It cost me two dollars it was like a dollar 99 do we see how cute this is nice and comfortable and it says 39 right here and it says 39 in there when i first saw it i thought oh is that gucci Gucci? <laughs> i thought it was gucci but i don't know i don't see no gg's there but i know it's patent leather and this is not a what, what was that? It's not a Gucci emblem, but it is some expensive loafer. I know that. 
Cause look at the bottle. Yeah, it's not cheap. But I paid her. Like she made me understood. There was no price, and she kept looking at it, and she said, "Oh, there it is. It's one. It's, it's one ninety nine. So I'm thinking she she's saying one hundred ninety nine dollars. I'm like one ninety nine. She said, "Yeah, it's 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 a dollar ninety nine. I was like, "Oh, okay, well, sure. Here you go. Tell me twice. Just ring it up for a dollar ninety nine. Because when she said one ninety nine, I'm thinking she's saying one hundred ninety nine dollars. I was like, you could put it back. But yeah." Love it, love it, love it. That's it for the shoes. So let's move on to the handbags. So most of these bags here, I got this one from Super Thrift, another Michael Kors started bag. You guys remember I showed you the other one the first time. That one had, um, that one was a tote. This is more of a handheld, more of a bowler. Gorgeous. I'm gonna feature this on Saturday for sale because I kept the other one. The inside is like this. Just need a little bit of cleaning. That is, the leather is yummy, yum, yum. You see, beautiful, gorgeous. I remember when these bags, my when I was in retail, these bags came out. It was like, oh my God, the Michael Kors started bags everybody wanted one so here's a good one i'm gonna feature on the sale day the next bag i got is another michael kors and this is so heavy and pretty this is embossed snake skin and leather hobo with a cross body and then we got the hobo part and then we got the heavy michael kors charm hanging now and the inside of this bag is so clean, still in good condition. And I think, how did I get this one? Oh, I got this too from American where it was $6.99, 50% off. I paid $3.50, okay guys. But that don't mean that's how much I'm gonna sell it for because I can easily keep this bag and be very, very happy. Okay, it's gonna be shown on the live sale another american way i thought about getting this bag but then i was like hey it's so big but it's good for people that are going to work it's a gorgeous handheld or sh actually shoulder bag all leather dky gorgeous bag for some reason don't know why this was more expensive because it has the dky right there it opens like a ferragamo the claps the inside is still clean you all see that this was 40 99 20 percent off so i got this for 20 dollars but they had priced it for 40 dollars i always go to american way on their sale day i'm not gonna go pay full price for nothing so gorgeous need to put some stuff in there good for work more like a mini briefcase as we move right along a nice little dunian burke patent leather gorgeous shoulder bag with a suede finish the inside is red as you know about duny it says right there dunian burke and i got this was ten ninety nine fifty off, so I got this for five five fifty. Beautiful patent leather dunny trimmed with gorgeous leather handle. I'm showing you these bags like I'm doing the live sale, but I'm not. But if you see something you like, you can hit me up and say, "Hey, save that bag for me, and I will do just that." So I don't have to feature it. Okay, the next one I got is another Halston. Halston Heritage bag. Nobody bought the last one. You guys don't know how expensive these bags are. This is luxury, honey. Luxury Halston. It has that little plate right there with a the little H. Do we see where it says Halston? I don't know what this little glue thing is, but I'm gonna try and clean it out. It's like a little glue. That's the thing right there. Nice pebble grain leather. 
where it says um there's it should it should say Austin somewhere. This one only say it just gives you the H in the front. And then on the inside is where you have your Halston heritage right here. I did not look at the comes on this, but I need it. I need to clean this out a little bit. Somebody left an Enzo tag inside. So I don't know yet. I know the other one when I did the come, somebody was selling it for 200 and something. But this one was $18.99. So I paid $9.50. We have that. Halston H on the zipper on the side and the same thing here these are luxury bags honey this ain't no joke beautiful and the only thing is the handle is frilling a little bit little threads but I can fix that so easily gorgeous all right next one is this beautiful Kate Spade. Oh, I have more Kate Spade bag. If I tell you how much I pay for these bags, you would die. This was two dollars and ninety nine, two ninety nine at Hope of the Valley. Two ninety nine. Beautiful, gorgeous spring little touch Kate Spade bag. That was that. And then I have this gorgeous black bag with this gorgeous handle this is still new with tags when i first saw this i thought it was valentino and then i took a look at it again i was like huh what it was victoria's secret but it was still brand spanking new look at the inside it has the v in there and then inside of it you have a victoria's secret card do we see that with a little thingy so that's put inside by the side of this this came from Goodwill. It was $19 and I think I had 25 off of that. It says Victoria's Secret everywhere. This is one of their really expensive bags because this bag is pretty heavy. And then on the outside, it has this outside pocket. I know I saw a little Victoria's Secret tag right here. This bag has never been used. It just says victoriasecret.com trying to see what the original price but yours they cut the price off as usual just the skill number and then we have this little Victoria's Secret charm there was a price here but somebody did not want us to see how much it was and I got this from where did I get this back from I think I got this bag from Super Thrift. Now I remember because it was mixed in with the non-designer bags, so they thought. So I think I paid $14.99 for Victoria's Secret. I don't know if I ever showed you guys this bag, but as I was going through my stuff, I found this bag I had gotten from Cancel Thrift. Beautiful, nice little hobo with a charm, Donia Burke, colorful for spring right here the thing about cancel thrift is they're not cheap because they know what they're selling they're not thrift. this bag i paid 24.99 for don't know why i did that but because cancel, cancel thrift is really not close to me so when you make that trip you don't want to just walk away empty-handed i'm like oh so you have to literally buy something so that your trip is not wasted all right let's move on to the luxury items so i found this bag which is a little still questionable but i'm still trying to work on it because it was behind the counter at hope of the, my hope of the valley and i'm like wait a minute what is that because all i saw was the prada on the side i have been trying to search for this bag but it's like beautiful on canvas and i have not seen this i don't know if it's vintage or if it's not even it says prada right there i keep trying to try to find this bag i'm like what the hell is this bag you know i'm trying to google smuggle it it says prada milano made in italy and it's embossed with like um 
laminated leather nice smooth zipper and you know back in the day when prada was making bags they were doing it on the side so i got this yesterday or yesterday yeah yesterday it was 19.99 behind the counter so i got it for 25 off and <laughs> oh my god when i'm examining bags in the store you should see the way they're looking at me i think they go by my reaction if i react like yay you know i got all this happiness then next time when they get something like this they're gonna up the price so i give him poker face i'm like i'm not gonna let you know if i find a treasure because he kept looking at me like is she gonna say it's real is she not gonna say anything and i didn't say nothing i said well, i'll just take it and he didn't say nothing but there was another one the day before i went because i saw both of them on the same day and i only picked one because i knew that one was for sure um real so I left the product behind, but then when I went home, I slept on it and I thought about it and thought about it. I was like, you know what? I need to go back for that bag. So I went back and I got it yesterday and they were just giving me this look like, did she come back because the bag was real or whatever? I just told them, I just wanted to see it. But what I found when I went on Wednesday evening is this beautiful, authentic Gucci made in Italy. Gorgeous beautiful bag canvas so yeah that was my pierre de resistance that was my everything i walked in i saw this bag i was like okay can i see that and they're looking at me i'm there in the counter i'm doing my little examining the bag i was like oh well and then i flipped it over i saw the authenticity code which when i smuggle google it it popped up i was like yes and um there's this little here's the zipper on the inside it just has it just says gucci on here i don't know if you can see it my little hand very nice lightweight bag for spring and this zipper pull is more like a buckle right here this was my everything and this is gucci right here made in italy yes it has on both sides it says gucci made in italy right here and this little leather handle and canvas bottom so this bag was only 14.99 and 25 off so i walked in i saw behind the counter i said can i see that bag and they're giving me the look like okay is she gonna say it's real so i'm like you yeah, ain't gonna get that from me it's gonna be all poker face over here because i've realized something when i say something is real next time they find something like that price is way up there so why would i even do that so this gorgeous spring black yeah gucci bag my pay the resistor my everything so the funniest thing is, I had gone to um, Poshmark. Did I? I think I was ordering the Gucci. Um, I tried to order a Gucci messenger bag because you know, when I go thrifting, I really like the crossbody bags. I've been rocking that Prada one for like ever. And I went to go get a Gucci one on Poshmark, but then somebody pulled the trigger before I did. I was like, God damn it. So I was okay with that. And then lo and behold i found it's not crossbody but this is good for me to go out to eat hang out with my friends go to dinner beautiful lightweight i forgot what this bag is called i have to look it up again but this is not is it under the boat bag if it's the gucci boat the Gigi boat bag i don't know but you, you guys remember i thrifted a little bit in one the boat bag one time from super thrift rescue mission so yeah those are the goodies i found more stuff but it's gonna be next time because if i do all the bags i found we're gonna be here forever we are so when i went to hold on guys when i went to um posh mark and i was looking to find a crossbody bag i just want to share this beautiful bag you guys remember i told you guys i ordered a katana bag katana pari paris 
because I have the vintage one that didn't have the crossbody. So I went and I pulled the trigger for this. This bag is everything. So while we were out running around, this is the bag I carried. So I keep saying I was going to steal this crossbody and put in my other katana bag that looked like um that like the Kelly katana Perry. So yeah. This bag almost looks like the coach top handle, but the leather of this bag <laughs> is everything. So, see where it says katana right there. And um, the inside is all suede. Somebody said, then my husband kept trying to tell me, that's a men's bag. I was like, uh, who says it's not a men's bag? It could be a men's bag, but I refuse to say so it says katana oh my god i can't see but it's giving you all that thing is it's right here all in french beautiful i guess it's telling you it's leather in french uh it says god can i see can i not see q very tab with that part i know is it's it's all leather beautiful bag and on the inside it has this little key thingy another vintage bag in my my possession so nice so heavy three compartment we got that we got this side and then we have the the middle zipper why is it this way that way the middle zipper and then on the outside if you don't want to go in for your phone we have this part and it looks like this this leather is so yummy and i got this a poshmark for like next to nothing if she was the only one that was selling her bag real cheap i don't know why she sold it for like 20 dollars but by the time i got shipping and everything it came up to 30 bucks but i've been rocking this bag like that's the only bag i own <laughs> okay but anyway guys so yes this is my haul for today there is something that i found that i have to work on i have to i found a chanel bag like a vintage bag but i have to work on it and make sure it's real before i bring it back i bring it to you guys because literally i haven't seen that kind of chanel before but the leather is so good the chain is so heavy so i'm going to go ahead and do some authenticating and stuff and then show you guys even if it's not real i'm still going to show you guys but it is what it is if it's one of those but it feels good for it to not be so that's my haul for today guys i will see you guys probably saturday for the live sale so like and subscribe hit the notification bell share comments good comments only please and um so you guys will know when i upload that's it it's been it's a shame that i have to cramp it down you guys throat because it's been what's today it's been a whole week i haven't done anything my last content was sunday and like i said i've been busy so i hope you guys like this i will see you guys for the live sale on saturday and i don't think i'll be doing anything tomorrow i'm not sure but i do have a whole lot of stuff for the whole of this week i have accumulated so much stuff it's like psh, 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 psh. some stuff i'm not even going to show you but i'm going to present it on the live sale because it's like what's the point you you guys don't want to see it twice but anyway i'll see you guys yeah like subscribe spring has sprung and your girl is looking mighty springy I had to put a scarf on because I'm like, okay. Oh, my beautiful earrings, Catherine Malandrino, I got from Burlington. I told you guys it was a set. And this little cutesy top I had gone from Didi's for only $5.99. Sexy, sexy. And my Izod shirt from Hope of the Valley, I think, for $4.99. Men's button down. The scarf, too, was from Hope of the Valley. Very springy, gorgeous, very lightweight didn't have a brand but i just love the combination of what it's giving so look at that it almost look like a kid spade and then uh, my young la gear oh and i got this 
I had just picked this mules yesterday by Aldo, size nine. I forgot to show you guys this. And I'm only wearing it because in here I'm wearing flats, but I'm like, uh, this was $8 brands back in new. It's Aldo that came out of Ross, I think. I think Ross was selling them for $34 but um because i see 33 marked on the bottom but hope of the valley was eight dollars so brand spanking new it's a size nine but i can still rock it Shoo. like i tell you my feet <coughs> i can wear all kinds of sizes i just can't the only size i can wear is a 10 or five and a half or six but i can wear a seven seven and a half eight eight and a half and a nine yes this feet of mine and miracle <laughs> they can fit anything they want to oh i put my bag on the floor i don't want to be broke anyway guys i talk too much so it's hot i gotta <clears throat> i gotta clean my garage some more i have handbags coming to get me then it, like tub everywhere bags 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 and my husband is looking at me like i'm so glad you got this little side hustle on this side because i don't know what you're gonna do with all this bag bags I was like, I'm going to start putting some on Poshmark, you know. Maybe I'll even do Facebook Live. I don't know. I've never done that. But so far, YouTube is working good for me. I can't complain. I want to thank everybody that supported me. I love you guys. I really, really do. And I got three people who haven't paid. Please pay for your bag or else it's going to be out there tomorrow on Saturday. And just pay. It's, it's not too late. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what to say. We take PayPal, we take Zelle, we take um, Venmo. Yes, and you don't need one small to have PayPal to pay with PayPal. You can always go to PayPal and pay as a guest with your debit card or credit card. All right, guys. Like and subscribe. Love you, love you, love you. See you later. That's all I got for you today. It's Thursday. It's Goodwill Dollar Day. Maybe I'll go by and see if I'm missing anything. I'm going to go by the Goodwill by my house and see if I can find something. I will let you all know if I do. If I find something that's really, really good, I will share it with you guys tomorrow. All right. Bye-bye. Peace. Love. Happiness. Yay. Bye-bye.